About a week and a half ago, I decided to buy a watch that I've wanted for a while. That watch is the Seiko SNJ025, people call it the Arnie. It's the retro reissue of a watch that was made popular by Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the 80s. Now, I was hesitant to buy a Seiko watch because I've seen a lot of problems with your QC in my short duration here in the watch hobby. Now, when I got the watch last week, it actually showed up in fine condition. The bezel has good movement and it's aligned very well. All of the buttons feel right and it seemed to be functioning well from the start. However, I do have a fairly big issue with this watch and it's already going back to Seiko for warranty work. If we look at the time there, it's saying currently that it's 2.28 a.m. But when you look at the hands, we're not seeing that same time, right? Well, apparently a lot of these 2023 model RNEs are defective. So I'm gonna unscrew my pusher here to cycle through the settings. We can see it says it's Saturday the 5th. Well, today is the 6th. You can see it there, the 6th. And it's not Saturday. If I cycle through here, we have our second time zone, which I'm not using. We have our uh, stopwatch, we have our alarm. But then if I do this, again, we see that. If I go to set the date, pull this out here. Whoop. Goodness, the functions on this are not the easiest to actually use. If we get back to our time here, we can adjust the time. And if we notice, Again, the hands aren't synced up to the time. I'm going to change the hours here. So we just set it five hours ahead. You can see it says it's January uh, 5th, which is not correct. And then it says it's 2019, also not correct. So what I'm gonna do is push the crown back in. See, the hand moved a little bit there. It moved to six, again, still not the correct time. <laughs> and then the minute hand stayed where it was. So it's a wonky thing where the movement has now gotten out of sync with the hands. Now you're probably wondering, well, why did that happen? Well, you can factory reset this watch if we press in both pushers here. Sorry, we got to unscrew again. And if we were to push in both pushers, see what it's doing there? If I hold that in for 10 seconds, it will factory reset the watch. Now the issue there is that I, I have factory reset this watch on my own once after I had the issue that I'm gonna mention here twice. The current Seiko SNJ 025s that were made in 2023, factory reset whenever they go out in direct sunlight. If I hold in here, it's hard to see it, but this top pusher here when you unscrew it is your, your light, it's lighting up a little digital display. If I hold it in for a little while, it tells us bat, and that's telling us the battery uh, setting right now. So I'm battery level nine. There are 10 battery levels. For me, wearing this out in the bright sunlight here in Utah last week, this thing was factory resetting whenever I went out in sunlight, which is ridiculous, right? It's a solar watch. Like I've never had a G-Shock do that, and I own a couple of different solar G-Shocks. So I'm quite frustrated with the fact that I got a defective Seiko out of the box here, right? So I reached out to Seiko directly, and they are aware of this issue. I spoke with a, a very nice lady from Seiko's repair department back on the East Coast, and she said, oh yeah, these are currently screwed up. Please send it back in for warranty work. So I wanted to make this video because I hadn't seen any other video that was showing that problem there. Now I will link down below a video from a fellow on WatchCrunch. I made a post last week describing this issue and he responded today with a video saying, hey, mine's doing the same thing. And he showed going out into direct sunlight and the issue happening. Now I do that today, but with how the weather is in Utah, beautiful on Saturday and then Sunday and Monday, we've gotten snow and sleet. The other watch I have here is the Momentum Seacourts uh, Seacourts 30. I had this here just kind of to show that the hands were showing the correct time. But again, it's so weird that when I set the time, not only did it not go to the correct time, but the hour hand went way far ahead. So it's just kind of wonky there. So yeah, I would advise don't buy a Seiko Arnie until they fix this issue. I, uh, I hate Reddit, but I did find a Reddit thread just Googling. It's not just the black SNJ025. Apparently the red and blue uh, Pepsi patty ones had this issue, as do a handful of the uh, uh, kind of more tactical colors. Now I did speak with a buddy who bought a brand new, uh, one of the, the green ones, and his is fine, but his was not made last year, like mine was. And again, I can show the serial number here. 
You can see it's a 390XXX, and that's the serial number there down below, so 390493. I looked it up and it was made last year. So I'm gonna be warrantying this watch. This will be a part of the, the video process. Once I get it back, I'll record my results there, but I am quite bummed that my uh, <laughs> brand new Seiko, my first entry into buying a Seiko product, and it doesn't fucking work. So thanks for watching, have a good day.